Okay, so question number three. What is dehydration synthesis? All right, so I'll just write down the definition. Okay, so even though we, let's say that we didn't know anything about the word dehydration, if we try to analyze it, we'll see that it has hydra. So this has something to do with like water. And it has the prefix D. This is kind of like removal. So already we can kind of guess what the definition would be. So in this case, it is a reaction where two molecules condense together and water is formed as a byproduct. So I'll have an example shown down here. Let's say we had two amino acids and every amino acid contains an amine group and they also contain carboxylic acid. And what makes every amino acid unique is their R group. So this is just an example of, uh, it can be any amino acid. So depending on the R group, it can change. And that's how we can tell amino acids apart. So that's one amino acid. And then I'll just draw another one. So this is the amine group. And then carboxylic acid group. And then I'm going to show R prime to show that it is a different uh, amino acid than the first one. So when these two molecules come together, then water is formed as a byproduct. So let's show here the formation of water. and the two molecules condensing together. So here's the first amino acid. And now the carboxyl group is attached to the amine of the second amino acid. This is R prime. And our second product is just water. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Dehydration synthesis from the word dehydration or dehydrate is a process where two molecules combining together will result in uh, the release of water. This is also referred to as a condensation process. This is because two molecules are combined together to create a large molecule, and the process will result in to release of a small molecule, which is water. This type of chemical reaction is common for monosaccharides. Monosaccharides contain an unionized monomer in the form of protons and hydroxide ions. When the two monomers react, these two ions will join together to form a water molecule. This water molecule is released upon the process, and the two monomers are covalently joined together. We can see here that two molecules are joined together to form a larger molecule with the release of water 
hence a dehydration synthesis. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.